Hi, Independence. I'm Dan Hobart, and I'm running for 4th District City Council. Uh, that's the southwest corner of the city. I wanted to touch base with everybody. Uh, the election is coming up on June 2nd, and I am not going to be door knocking. I am taking a very conservative approach with COVID, and my parents are a little bit older, uh, and I still want to have contact with them and I just it's the for me it's the best practice I also want to respect those folks that I might knock on their door and they might not appreciate that because of the situation we're in um, I'm sure there are folks out there too that are not quite so worried about it uh, for all of us involved please just be as courteous kind and polite as you can to one another this is stressful for all of us uh, in all the different ways and it's been incredibly hard to try to stay locked up to be locked up to not even to mention the folks that have suffered the extreme hardship because of jobs and income and and bills so uh, let's be nice to each other uh, once in a while and that's a good message to practice all the time obviously but certainly now because we're all stressed and we're all worn out and we all need to get back to it a bit uh, I wanted to say that the city sent out a plan for reopening which I thought was really nice the city order is going to be lifted for stay at home very soon and so is the Jackson County order so it's going to be a slow rollout of services and amenities that will be available from the city. That's on their website, the City of Independence website. So take a look at that if you're curious. Um, it's It may be slower than you like. It may be faster than you like. I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure where I fall on it. There's so many unknowns right now that it's really hard to make a good decision So for me personally. Um, one other thing I wanted to mention, uh, I wanted to send out my condolences to uh, David Jamison, the firefighter that uh, died last, last week. Uh, he had, had a big family and he served the City of Independence for 23 years. I grew up around a lot of police officers. Uh, my dad's a retired 33-year uh, city employee with the Independence Police Department. And I didn't know uh, hardly any firefighters, but I've gotten to know some uh, since I've been running for this office. And I've gotten to know some of the guys uh, pretty well, spent time with them. And, of course, this is purely anecdotal, but these guys, are they're good guys, and they work hard for the city, and I can't even imagine what it must feel like to know that you're in danger when you go to work every day. Uh, that takes courage. It takes motivation. It takes dedication, loyalty, training. Uh, this, this is, you know, we we get this life folks and it, boy it's so precious and I know uh, Mr. Jamison's family has got to be just devastated uh, and missing him dearly there's so uh, my condolences go out and I know the city will send it out and they'll have services and that's beautiful um, but these these are important things to take note of and to remember at the end of the day, with all the fighting that happens in the city, with the with all the stuff that goes on, that it just really is upsetting. Um, there are still bigger things uh, that we need to keep track of, and that starts with each other. So let's do that going forward. Let's let's do the best we can to take care of each other, the people who live here and work here.
talk to you again soon, folks. Thanks.